What's up, everybody? Well, I kind of just randomly decided to open this thing back up and try to get this working again. So, all the pads look like they were making good contact with everything. So, no idea what's uh, going on with all that. So, all these things should be fine. And I sopped up some of it. I, once I got done with the freaking thing, I forgot two freaking little, two more dots more than I wanted of liquid metal came out. And that was just was too much liquid metal. So, I sopped up a lot of it. Hopefully, I sopped up enough. Get a little closer look here. It's hard to see if the damn camera focuses. I'm not using my phone as a viewfinder. That still looks like there's a little bit too much on that GPU, but I took almost all of it off of the tops of the uh, vapor chambers. So hopefully everything will be all good. So also I had another random idea. So I figured I would just take you guys over into my bathroom and show you guys what I came up with. And no, it's not what you're thinking. All right, and we took all the little screws out and I tried to get a lot of the liquid metal off of this thing too. So I still haven't actually moved the remainder around to try to make it look smooth yet. But the main reason I wanted to show you, or main thing I wanted to show you guys is, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I just kinda had the crazy idea to take the screws and Take out the retention screw, uh, little springs and just build a tower of washers to hold them down. And I'm not even going to put those stupid retention screens back on. I'm just going to screw those three screws to hold it down. And as long as those are in the right spot, all of these will be in the right spot. So the whole clip thing is kind of pointless. Doesn't really do anything. <laughs> so I figure with this, it goes literally right up to the top. So this should give us the best contact so if contact was what it was we should be good on that now so anything else that happens is probably because i still got too much liquid metal so i think i'm gonna turn the camera off real quick and try to sop up just a teeny tiny bit more of that shit because i don't want to have to open this thing back up again i'm hoping i'm gonna do this and we're gonna get like under 90 degrees and everything's gonna be sweet but let's go find out all right before I get started putting this back together, I just figured I'd show you guys the perfect amount of washers, as far as I can tell, is three. If you're gonna eliminate that stupid retention screw, if you put any more than that on, it the screw head can't even reach where it's supposed to go. So, I decided to go with three, and it seems like that should be good. Obviously, once I start tightening them down, we will be able to tell for sure if that's enough or if it's just kind of the whole thing's just flopping around there not making no connection you know so let's go try to screw these back down now all right guys we got them back in seems like it's making real good contact just make sure you tighten them down in a in a cross pattern for good uh liquid metal distribution well not liquid metal distribution, just distribution in general but now it's time for me to hook this thing all back up and see if we actually got an improvement. I know this is probably a short video, but I didn't want to do the whole, just a carbon copy of my last one, only trying to make it work properly. So let's go put the bottom on, then we'll go do a couple benchmarks and see if it helped. Well, all right. I just did a quick Cinebench here and we were at, we're at 13,121. So I got back into the 13,000s at least. I'm not at no 14,000 like that one guy on Reddit still, but Hey, I'll take at least getting 13,000 back. And then let's go over here. I realize this isn't as professional as usual, but this was just kind of an impromptu video that I was just like, oh, well, I'm doing it, so I might as well show a little bit of what I did. Not gonna make another 40 minute video about it. So, our uh, minimum temps, we definitely did a lot better. I mean, I had to just ignore that. The minimum is just kind of bullshit. It was just when I started hardware and full up after having it on silent. I kind of just left the thing on silent after turning it on for like 20 minutes or something just so it's not like giving us false readings from being like doing one cold thing and then, oh, well, that's the only time it can do it. You know, we don't want that. But anyway, and then we maxed out at 93 here. And our average so far is 66. So not bad. Now I guess I'll go do a quick, uh, a quick whatchamacallit. 3D Mark, uh, either Time Spy or Fire Strike, probably both, just real quick. And we'll see uh, how the GPU side of things is doing now, because that was getting a little hotter before. So it seems like the CPU got a little better. We're not getting up to 96 anymore, so we got three degrees better. I'll t fucking take it, you know? <laughs> anyway, 
I'm gonna go run those real quick and then we'll be back. Well, all right. We got 11,473 with a graphics score of 11,840. Our CPU score seems a little low though. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's not like it was overheating this time, I don't think. Well, let's go find out. Let's see here. It got up to 93.9. And let's go look at our GPU. And our GPU got up to 86 on the dot with an average of 74. And then our memory junction was 90 on the dot. Our hotspot was 102. I'm pretty sure it used to only be like 101, so we might have gone up a degree on that. But whatever, as long as I'm getting like good benchmarks and whatnot and it's not doing stupid crap, I'm all right with that. So now, let's go run a 3D Mark Fire Strike real quick, and then we'll just wrap this short little video on up. Well, all right. Fire Strike just got done. We only got 27,793, and I'm pretty sure we broke in the 28s before, so. We didn't really get a great score here, but it's not a horrid score either. At least it's doing better than average. I remember there was a time where I was getting worse than average scores, and that was irritating. So, at least I'm doing better than that. That's all I can really hope for. And then as for temps, let's just go over here right quick. Ooh, this one must be harder to run. We went up to 95.1, which is still not 96. So, I'll take it. Even though it's with one fucking degree. All right, now let's scroll all the way down to our, there we go, our 600M. Now that one went up to 87 on the dot, 90 on the memory again, and we actually went one degree cooler on the hotspot this time. So, all right. So, it doesn't really look like we improved temps much, but at least I've got my performance back, which is what I was so irritated about. I have no idea. It's like, all right, I want to make my temps better. All right, well, your performance is worse and your temps are worse. Like, well, shit. <laughs> But anyway, now I'm willing to bet, though, since these tests are so freaking short, if we went and played like Forza Horizon 5, I'm willing to bet you that it would get super freaking hot, just like normal, up to 96 on the CPU, 96, 97, and probably 86, 87 on the GPU with freaking 101, 102 degree hotspot, 90 degree C on the freaking uh, just memory as well, so... Let's go give that a quick shot, and then we'll wrap this video on up. As this was just kind of a random video I decided to just do as I was doing all this shit. That's why it's not super professional or nothing, so I do apologize for that. At first, I wasn't even going to make a video at all, but figured, well, let's document a little teensy bit of what's going on here with my second try of redoing the thermals and whatnot. All right, guys. Figured we'd just get a little bit of gameplay in here. Camera recorded, just for the fuck of it, man, as I predicted before I could even finish setting up my tripod and whatnot we were already at 96 on the CPU and like 87 to 88 on the GPU again so we didn't really improve our temps at all still unfortunately I just think mine is destined to be 96 degrees its entire life at least now. It used to get a break with the cooling pad, but I'm willing to bet you it'll still thermal throttle if I put that on. I'll give that a shot. Real quick here, probably in the same video, but I'm willing to bet it'll thermal throttle. Let's just go get like a quick little bit of gameplay in here though without it first. Because that would at least be nice if I could go back to using that. And at least... I should be getting decent performance in my games again. Oh shit. Aw. We have crashed. Well, what a perfect time to hook the cooling pad up and see if it makes the son of a bitch throttle or not, or if I can go back to using it. Well, all right. Now we got the cooling pad hooked up.
I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't really seem to make a damn bit of difference. I mean, we're still at 95, so it might have made us drop a degree on the CPU by having our cooling pad. It used to do a lot better than that. But, my main thing was, alright, so it's not helping with temps, so why even use the blasted thing? But, mostly, now I just want to see if it throttles and does that weird shit that it was doing before, where it would just, like, drop down to 20 FPS. It was doing that like it did in Diablo with the cheap cooling pad. And I was like, well, what the fuck? It never used to do that. Fucker. Paying too much attention to the stupid temps, and I'm not driving. I did not crash into the trees. So sometimes it drops into like the 94s and shit, but and 93s, but for the most part it seems like it chills at 96 still. Or 95. And the GPU is still at 86. I think I saw it even hit 87 still, so. I don't know. I'm starting to think it's still not making good contact. Maybe because of the stupid thermal pads that I put on there. Who knows? I guess maybe I can try one more time and keep my washer idea. But take some, like I said, take some of that thermal grizzly conducting knot. Or crap, not a conducting knot. What was the one? The non-liquid metal one. Just thermal grizzly. I'm pretty sure it's non-conductive. And just maybe take the thermal pads back off and just put thermal paste back on. You know? But at the same time, that's probably not going to help and it'll probably just make things worse, so... I wonder if I should just keep it the way it fucking is, you know? Oof. Well, so far so good. Plus, I will say, it's a lot smoother in the frame times. I have no fucking idea how just changing thermal compound could do that, so I'm not taking credit for that, but I'm just saying, compared to the last time I did this, those frame times were fucking going haywire, wacko mondo nuts. Anyway, though, I think that's probably good enough. This is pretty much just turned into me driving around forgetting that I'm making a video about fucking temps here. So, well, why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up now. Well, all right, that's about it for this little teeny tiny video here. We still didn't quite match the guy's temps on Reddit, but at least I got my scores back. So at least there's that. Like I was telling you guys at the end of the one video where I kind of failed is I turned off that overclocking feature and then tried to turn it back on because it made me get way worse scores. I was like, then I turned it back on and I never got anywhere near 13, 8,000 ever again. So at least we're able to hit that pretty much over and over and over again. I did it like three times in a row. It went anywhere from like, I think 1,000. I did one time, it did 12,000, like 996. And then like, I think that was the worst time when I did it like three times in a row. The first two times it was like the one I showed you. And then after that, I just want to make sure it wasn't going to be bullshit. So I ran it two more times. And then I believe the second time it was like 13,280. And then it dropped all the way down to like 12,996 as the last one. So we're right at around 13,000-ish, which is still better than the like 12,600 and 7,800 I was getting before I did all this. So I will take that. Temps, though, seem to be about the same, 96 in, on the CPU and about 87 to 88 on the GPU. Even with the cooling pad, doesn't seem to help. They still seem to stay right around the same temps. So 
why sit there with all that noise if it's not helping anymore, right? I will say though, at least it did not uh, make my shit lag or stutter or doing anymore. So if it were to give me good temps, I'd go back to using it. But if it's gonna be the same no matter what, why bother with all the noise, right? So I feel like I'm gonna chill again for like a week or something. Hey, you don't go sleep on me. What do you think you're doing? Here we go. And then try one more time. I think maybe somebody had a good point. They said maybe the thermal pads I put in there are just making it so it can't make good connect or uh, good contact. And that's why they went with the thermal grease or thermal paste, whatever you want to call it, instead of thermal pads. It wasn't because they were being cheap. They just wanted it to make good contact as it could. So that's what they did. So I might try that one more time, but it'll just piss me off if I do this one more time and then it gets even worse than it's being right now. But hey, if that's the case, whatever. I can keep trying until it's you know somewhat successful again, just off camera and it's no big deal. But anyway, I'm just blabbing on and on. I wished it would have worked the way it uh, was on the Reddit, but I guess that's just wasn't destined to be for me for now. But like I said, I'll probably try one more time, see what's what. Kind of combined the washer idea with the taking the thermal pads off and just replacing it with thermal grizzly or something. Obviously not the liquid metal. If you put liquid metal all over your ramp trips and whatnot, you are going to kill the fuck out of your laptop. So do not do that. You got to find non-conductive, uh, what you would call it, thermal compound. So that's what I'll probably try next, but not right away. Probably wait a week or two again, chill with it the way it is. But at least now it won't, I can at least make videos with it again. It was not like it's stuttering and lagging and being a pile of crap. So, all right, I can make videos again. Thank God I was running out of ones that I can upload. How I made it up to like January 7th or something like that. And then there are no more. I can make some Steam Deck videos I've got to upload. And I've got some on my other computer and my second year computer I could upload too. But then people will be like, where's the laptop videos? Anyway, though, I'm rambling again. I'm all stoned anyway. I do that when I'm stoned. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little snippet, which is probably more like a 10, 15 minute snippet at this point, because I've talked so damn much. But anyway, till the next video, peace out, guys.